let's move on to uh, Fender. <laughs> so Gibson. Speaking of broken instruments. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't want to give Fender too much shit because it's Fender versus Gibson, and if we're going to throw a shade at anyone, it will be Gibson, right? Mm, you, you want to continue with that story before we make that summary? Yeah, okay. Well, so <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, Gibson announced uh, that now you can be a signature Gibson artist. Wow. You design the guitar, and we'll release it. Also we'll, known as we'll the custom shop. You. Yeah. They're just making a push for their custom shop. Um, I think, that, don't be wrong, I think the market and, and the actual distribution side of it is quite clever. You don't have to go directly to Gibson. Yep. Gibson dealers can go through it with you. Yep. And place that order for you. It's a, it's a bit of a nicer touch, but especially if you are like a common face to your local music store and you know the guys or even know someone who works in music retail. Yep. It's a nice little touch that you've got a personal contact for it rather than just contacting a company directly yep. cold and whatever else. But sorry, continue. Yeah, it's something they've done for a long time anyway, apparently, mm. but it's it's just a new marketing spin on it. They right, don't just push, a push it. they didn't have yeah, before. And they decided to push it. So I hit up some of my contacts um, that work in retail. Uh, Gibson dealers and I said what do you know about these new Gibson things and they looked at it and they said oh it's nothing new they've been doing that for years and years and years Um, because I essentially I want to know how much these types of things are going to cost and uh, I can actually I can probably pull up what he said I'll give you a direct quote Um, so yeah I said uh, what did I say yeah, any information on what these sorts of things cost um, and here's a direct quote it will go anonymous because uh, I don't know if he wants to be outed but he said they've been doing this for a few years now I have a um, 58 made to measure 58 myself picked the top got jumbo frets prices vary depending on the spec and the model but three to five K is normal that's pounds three to five thousand pounds is normal these adverts are just a rebrand of the uh, made to measure thing to get it out there made to um, measure being the the marketing name they gave the custom shop yeah push um so i was interested in that i said so um the only things that you spec'd were the top and the frets or did you spec more than that and then i uh, also wanted to know if there were any ideas on things that you can change and and things that you can't and then he said and i thought this was interesting he he said you can have anything literally Pickups, frets, weight relief, paint, Floyds, really anything you want for a price, of course. Um, and said to check out the Gibson custom page to give you an idea of some of the things they're doing. Now, I don't know how literal he's being with the literally. <laughs> but who knows? Maybe they will make anything. Maybe I can have a, um, I don't know. Nine string Les Paul. An with SG a with an, a Kayla and a, a Firebird headstock. Yeah. Or a flying V headstock. You, know? you want LSR tuners. You want yeah. a, a rolling nut. Um, you want eight single coil pickups wired in the most intricate series you can imagine. Yeah. Um, and I don't know what else to add. I mean, again... You want when, Henry to sign the back, yeah. yeah. When, <laughs> when he says uh, to knock half the value off it. When, it. when he says literally anything, um, and then for a price... He could be right, you know. If you order something like that, it might just cost you forty grand. If it's, they, they'll just they'll say, sure, we're happy to do it, but we're going to price it in a way that you're not going to order it. I've done that with transcriptions in the past. Can you transcribe this solo for me? Yeah, sure, um, but it's going to cost you five times what it would normally cost because I really don't want to do it. <laughs> so um, yeah, the reason I mention this is uh, that Fender seem to have gone down this route as well. If I can pull it up, connect. Uh, where is it? There is. So, yeah, now, f- and this is only the available in shop. the US, which is annoying because I got emailed this to UK and then I clicked on it and uh, nothing came up. Just got like a 404. Um, but yeah, the Fender Mod Shop, designed by you, built by us. And I thought, you know what, this is. Read the spiel out. Read the spiel out. Fender's Mod Shop gives you the chance to create a factory customized guitar or bass that's as unique as you are. Select your components and we'll create it for you. Ships within 30 days. Now, within 30 days instantly rings a wee bell in my head of this is not really custom. I mean, I, the I fact that they said factory customised in there. No, is... I suppose, yep. Not... Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Still though, right, let's take a look at it. So I'm going to click on Design Offender Telecaster, which uh, is cool. And, okay, so I've got this thing that's come out. Now, the first thing I think to myself is, well, body wood. It's quite important. Mm-hmm. What do we want my body to be? Uh, out of made out of 
Um, Ash and Older, very common choices for Telecasters, right? So let's see what Fender are offering. Material Ash. Hmm. Only material that I can select for that is Ash. Right, okay. So it seems quite limited, but all right, let's... let's. I tell you what, maybe the Strat's not for me. Let's go for... Sorry, Telly's not for me. Let's design a Stratocaster. Um, material Ash. Okay, so that's it. I can I can have an Ash Strat. Right. Okay. Um, but I tell you what, let's just let's just spec out a Strat. What color would you like your Strat, Mike? If if they do have it, uh, candy tangerine, which I doubt very much. I don't think they do. Unfortunately, it being a custom shop color. They've got a hot rod red. Okay. Yep. Yep. Uh, I don't know what that is. That looks like kind of cola red. Maybe scroll up. I'll tell you. Candy apple red. Candy apple, we'll go candy apple red, right? That's that's no. beautiful. You want placid blue? I like a lake placid. Lake placid's all right. Give me that. Let's go for a lake placid. Okay, so I've got a lake placid. Cool. Um, so far, you've got a Mexi strap. Yeah, we can uh, pick the neck. So we can go for the original fifties uh, strap neck or the American special strap neck. It's also worth noting they say limited next to them, which means that well, depending on how quickly you order this, yeah, you might not get those options. Let's go for the American special. And we're told the uh, may, may okay, so that, that would mean you can't have it in left-handed. I would assume. Mm, Who knows? Um, and so. we can pick the we can pick the shape of the back of the net. You go for the C to D nine point five radius or the American Professional. Again, I'm going to go American Professional. Um, now, fingerboard option. I thought this was interesting. We've got maple and we've got rosewood. Now, I thought Fender had stopped using rosewood. I thought they'd switched over to Palferro. So, I'm not sure on this one. But it's a custom shop, so maybe that's what they're trying to entice you into using the rosewood reserves they've got. Potentially. Potentially. When I say custom shop, but I think, before we go any further, that my initial thoughts on this are, these are parts they have lying about. They want to clear out. Yep. So, they're pushing, oh, this is this limited customs, but the customs... And you can take all these old shitty bits that we don't want and eventually we'll make new stuff. But we'll still charge it the arse for it. Well, this is why I'm doing this because I want to spec out, uh, I want to list off what this is going to cost. Let's see where we get to. So um, let's go for a four-ply green pearl. Definitely looks like the kind of guitar you would play. Fucking late plastic blue with a green sparkly fucking plate. Plastic part colour. Oh, interesting. Go for black. I mean, it looks disgusting. It's not, it's not the worst I've ever seen. There is a, a reasonable selection of pickups. Mm, it's alright you, you can't actually pick individual pickups you just get uh, options sets. of sets yeah. yep let's go for the 4th gen noiseless to be fair that's how Fender generally work tuning machine heads we're well, going to want the modern locking ones aren't you No. Oh, yeah. bridge You've got the American elite strat trim and the American professional strat trim so again very limited options very limited options can't even have a Floyd put in it you also can't pick whether it's 6 screw or 2 uh, you have to be 2 pole and that's it yep Again, I'm, makes me believe that it's limited, already milled bodies. All I need to do is paint them. I've gone for gold hardware. An extra two hundred dollars. Extra two hundred dollars. Yeah. Uh, strings. You can pick nine to forty-two, and you, that's yeah. It. No choice of strings, um, and case and packing. Uh, again, there's no choices. It just comes with the Strat case. Cool. So that guitar is priced up at two thousand dollars. What's the shipping on it? That's a good question. Because <laughs> they're charging top of that. This is a fucking joke. Nah, free shipping. Shipping's free, okay. Free shipping. That's fine. So, Thank fair fuck. enough. I mean, to be fair, I do look at what we created there and I go, you are never going to be able to buy that from a shop. So, on the one hand, I can see some of the appeal, but... The only thing you can buy from the shop is the fact that you bought it in those combinations straight from. You can yeah. buy all the parts individually. From a Mexi Strat, you'd pick up second hand for two three hundred quid yep and have that in and my opinion if you're going to spend two grand on a strat that sort of money because it's custom just get a custom built instrument from someone you know or just go and buy like a levinson blade or something yeah things that are strats but improved you spend a lot less money than that on warmoth on a warmoth true um, so and pretty much all the next are fender licensed anyway so yeah. you're getting the same shit yeah so um yeah there, there was that i mean uh, I just wanted to bring it up just because it, it feels like Fender kind of making a move to defend themselves against the moves that Gibson have made. And ultimately, I think you're both failing. 
yeah, it's like, would you rather eat sick or jobbies? Yeah. I'd rather eat neither. You need to pick one. Yeah, you've got to pick one. It's just, as we were saying before as well, like, these are supposed to be the two most historic leading brands in the guitar market, and this is how abhorrently they treat customers. This is what That's what they think of you as a customer. This is our custom shop. The price isn't really that high, but neither's the options or the quality of the looks of things. You're basically just getting an elite strat with a couple of custom yeah. options. That's what bugged me. It's just the sheer limit on options. It's just it doesn't doesn't feel right to me. So, sorry, yeah. Fender, you fucked. Having said that, they are a fraction of the cost of a Gibson. Oh, like so. the, and price point, two thousand dollars isn't a lot of money to expect to pay for a custom instrument from Fender. But it's not really a custom instrument from Fender. It's like here's some limited option choices you can have. Yep. Yeah, tragic. But there we go. There is uh, Fender. Anyway, should we move on to the hot topic? 